The search will begin in the final district of Neverwinter for the last remaining water Davian creature. I hope that this ends quickly, but then I never know what to expect when hunting each creature since they are all so different and affect people and the district they are in in different ways. Strange that each one fled to one of the different four districts outside of the city core. Regardless, I feel like I am nearly done with this task of returning their important parts to Lady Arabeth. A weaker person might be concerned with the welfare of the creatures, but not I. I understand that we live in a harsh world that demands much from the lives of most living creatures. In this case, it is no different. So, one in my position either accepts that and pays the cost no mind, or gives up only to have the city succumb to the wailing death. It is a small sacrifice in my opinion, one that I will gladly take care of for the Dark Lady. I suppose, after the last part is brought to Lady Arabeth, that they will attempt to create a cure for the plague. Whatever group this dragon or lizard cult is, it would do well to attempt to stop me now, and if not me, then Lady Arabeth once she has all four Water Davian parts. So I expect to see more of their attacks, and soon. If the Wailing Death is stopped, then I suppose this cult would have no choice but to make another move in their continuing efforts against the city of Neverwinter. At least then, when they show their hand, I will not be the only one believing in this conspiracy. A conspiracy in which I suspect others in the city, possibly in the employ of Lord Nasher. I don't think my job will be done when the last Water Davian creature part is found. I think it will only be the beginning of my task here for the Dark Lady. As for what I will be concentrating on right now, is to find another one of the chests for Never's tombs. I believe it to be in the Docks District. I believe that there's another tomb of Never in here. Hmm. Yes, Blood Sailors. This is apparently their headquarters, the Aqueducts, in the Docks District. This may come down to a fight. Hello! This is Blood Sailor territory. Get out! I'm afraid I cannot do that. Hello! Here they come. We have a mage over there. Here they are. Not good. One down. Sharwin, you're gonna have to hold the, hold them off. defeated them, but that doesn't mean we have the tomb yet. Sickle. Cure light wounds. Here. Oh, can only go in that. 
So many stacks, okay. Start putting it in there then. I didn't even take a... well, I did, actually. I did take a scratch. It was a tough battle. Uh, no. I refuse to heal the boar. The boar did help a lot, though. Sharwin, you're just taking too much of my healing power. Good enough. Now, there's a chest over here and a box. Eight gold. Fair enough. Locked. Done and done. Potion of antidote. Fox is cunning. We can sell these. over here. More of the same. I'll have to get on the other side of the bridge. Hopefully we can get through this gate. Sorry. Ah, too complex for her to pick and it's warded against simple spells. Where would the proper key be? Hmm. I see somebody. Wasn't that the person that we used to get us through here before? I think it was. I don't remember any uh, tomb that we came across, so. Hmm. Maybe I have the wrong place. Oh, I'm thinking we need to find another way in. Damn the blood celebrators. I don't care about these stupid pirates. There's another way in. Although I don't quite remember. Was it under the seedy tavern? What about the Silver Sails trading company? The place that was supposedly condemned or closed down due to vermin infestation. I thought that there was a link into the aqueducts from here. Could be wrong. That goes upstairs. We don't go that way. We have to find a way that goes down. Not in that room. There. There's a stairway down. We have been this way before. Okay, so this is into the aqueducts. To the hell, so if I remember where there was a doorway. Oof, trap. Ah. Oh, this looks like it could be it. Yes, it is. What does it read? Tooth of the Forge. Arrow sword? Would a tooth be a sword? It is. Alright, expect some kind of tough foe in there. These are the doorways here. Ancient symbol of tear. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have skeletons and ghouls. Perfect time to use my turn undead. Hold them off for a second. Well, that worked very well. One more. Ha! Ah! Couldn't have been a better enemy. This one is not falling down. There. Oh, 
that worked out very well. I doubt there's anything in these little <clears throat> rooms. Out of the way, boar. That was like a trap. They wanted the people who opened up the sarcophagus to be attacked by all these undead. Skeleton's knuckle. Good is this for? Well, some people do play knuckle bones. I don't know. Let's go. There's only one more. And obviously it's going to take the arrow. And considering we've been to the peninsula, the beggar's district, now the docks, the only place left is the Black Lake district. A place that we have yet to go. We've got to a long walk to get back. Actually, what am I thinking? Why do that? And I can just recall. There. And we can rest right here. And sell any excess items. I suppose it's a good day to go to the Black Lake District. Sun is out. I hear the wailing people in the distance crying about dying. Oh, passage from the city of Neverwinter is forbidden. We cannot risk the plague being spread to the surrounding countryside. Uh, maybe I have the wrong way. Farewell. Come on. Lend me something yes. Oh, it's really off. It's down this way. Make peace with your gods! Like the Falorn before us, we are doomed. Woe to the unrepentant, for they shall be struck down. Guard, can you tell me anything about the Black Lake District? Hello. The Wailings cause us fair share of conflict beyond these gates, lad, making it a dangerous place. Lady Arabeth has ordered us to restrict access. In other words, if you want access to the Black Lake District, you're going to need quarantine clearance. Understood? Lady Arabeth has assigned me to temporary military duty. Aye, there was word she'd be hiring on adventurers to help fill the ranks. What can I do for you then? Can you answer some questions about the Black Lake District? I suppose I can answer a question for you, lad. Go ahead. Hmm. How bad is it in there? Well, the Black Lake split into two parts, the Nobles' Quarter and the rest of it. The Nobles are plague-free right now and sealed off tight. There's rumors the Nobles have a cure that they aren't willing to share with the rest of us. Hmm. People have been saying that from all over the city, especially in the Docks District. I doubt it's true, but food attracts flies. Victims of the Wailing have been flocking to the Black Lake barricades. They've been... A few clashes already, so tread carefully. It especially is dangerous between this gate and the Black Lake proper. Not much besides plague-crazed thugs in that part. Dangerous as hell. Who is in the right? The barricaded nobles or the people that want in? Don't get me wrong, I can understand the nobles' desire to quarantine themselves, but some of the biggest crooks I've known were of noble birth. Maybe there is something to the rumors about the nobles having a cure and not wanting to share it. It doesn't sound likely. But the fact remains they're plague-free while the rest of the town gets sick. Is there anything else you want to know? Are there any places I should look out for in the Black Lake District? The nobles' quarter itself is all barricaded in, but being a guard gives you access. Once aside, you can check out the zoo in the north and a rough house tavern called the Board Laid Bear in the center of the district if you want. A zoo. I already knew there was one in there. And a tavern named the Board Laid Bear. Okay. Is there anything else you want to know? Goodbye. Yes, yes. On your way then. I think I've heard enough. Let's go see what this place looks like. Every single district seems to have its own character. <sighs> Pirates, zombies, and escape prisoners. What do we find here? Crazed citizens, like the pirates, and the, or sorry, the, the escape prisoners? Who knows? Who are you? Hey there. Can you help me? 
I don't know what to do. What do you want and why should I care? Why? Aren't you a guard? I thought you had come to save me. Please say you did. I need your help. M m name is Sendrin, and everything has gone wrong. This whole area is overrun, and those bastards in Black Lake don't care. They've locked themselves away, abandoning the whole place. Well, what happened here? Why is this area in such bad shape? After the whaling began, we caught, uh, we were caught between the quarantine and the Black Lake barricades. We were at the mercy of the plague thugs. Some of them used to be friends, but the plague took their minds, drove them mad. They became like animals. Then, Loxar showed up. Tell me about this Loxar. Loxar is a big half-orc. Not sure where he came from. He showed up after the first few plague thugs started going mad. Loxar looted in their wake. After a while, when the place was disrupted, Loxar just started killing people and taking whatever he wanted. I think he realized the guards don't care about us in here. I think I'm one of the last survivors. I've no reason to stay. He's killed my family, taken everything. I just want to know he's dead before I try and get to the city core. What will I be paid to kill him? I... I have nothing. Nothing at all. All I can do is hope you will help me. Please. You couldn't get any help from the Black Lake guards? Nobody cares about us servants here. The Black Lake nobles barricade themselves up. As long as nobody gets near the barricade, they don't care. What do they care if some peasants lose their lives? Bah, I ain't working for them ever again. Makes me wonder why you've remained here. But, as the guard outside said, maybe they're not letting people out. They're caught between the barricades and the guards. If I could care about people... Maybe this would bother me, but I really don't. You can't pay me anything to kill him? <laughs> well, let's see what I can do. You... you will! Thank you. Loxar is this... He's in this no-man's land somewhere. He's pretty much taken whatever houses he wanted. And there are still plague-mad thugs around, too. Please be careful. You're the first person to give a damn about anything that has happened here. Thank you. Oh, you took me the wrong way. I don't give a damn. What I do care about is possible loot that I can get from killing this stupid half-orc. And if you had paid me to go kill him, that would have been better. Right. Well, I don't know this district. Never been here before. Pray. Rabbit dogs. Gods you worship. <laughs> Summon some help. Who's this? This what they're talking about, the crazed thugs. Kill the dog. I'll kill the man, you concentrate the other dog. So that what this district is going to be like. Well, they did say it was split in two, so for part of it we'll have crazed thugs and I guess they're dogs. And some ro rocks Lex Loxar or whatever his name was. I call him Roxar. Oh, well, there's no going up there. The stairs are broken. I'm oh, not gonna break my leg trying to make it up there. The door's closed, the door's closed. barrel over there. Heavy flail. It's not enchanted. It's not worth its weight. What was that? Dog. Crazed thug. Disease thug. Look at him. Maybe the wailing death has affected them differently here? Interesting. These diseased thugs don't carry loot. Maybe Luxar took it all from them. Yes, I'd like to run into this half-orc. I'm sure he's collected quite a 
sizable amount of items and gold by now. It'd be worth killing him for it. I don't really fancy the idea of going door to door in this entire district. It'll really slow me down. Right. If there was good loot in them, homes, then maybe. But three gold isn't really not at all. Unless I was starving. A map for this? Uh, I don't. Letter, official document, recipes. Transport via plants. This magic scroll is to be used near the large tree outside the zoo in the Black Lake District. It will transform that single large tree into a portal through which the animals of the zoo can escape. After they are through, the druid Nyatar will see to their well being. I hope I get suitably contemplated. Uh, compensated for this. But yes, I will do the work, even if it is good. As long as it does not interfere with my mission. Or offend the Dark Lady. Money is money. Huh. It's the Badger doing the whole time. some boxes up there. Cure moderate wounds. One gold piece. Uh, put this in the this section. Very narrow alleyways here. This house burnt down. Interesting. Diseased thugs and rabbit dogs everywhere. Serious wounds. Oh, that's a home over there. What is this? That's my dire badger. All right, crazy thugs. Well, I'm looking for that Loxar, so that's a good reason to go home to home, I suppose. Nothing here. That stairwell is full of materials. Be impossible to climb through. Die! Ah, they keep coming. Like zombies. Alright, it's getting annoying. Restoration. 
Some of them do have some things. Gold piece. Cure moderate wounds. As I said, if I didn't loot everybody and go after all the barrels and crates and boxes, then I would be a much I'd be much less well off than I am. It pays to search. It really does. This makes me wonder why there are even any beggars in the streets to begin with, when there's items to be had and any box near around nearby. It makes no sense. Okay, well, we have a crate over here. Haven't seen this zoo yet, or a tavern. Moderate wounds. Well, what's this? Could this be the tavern? It's partly destroyed. It's just a house. Hey, who disturbs Loxar? You gonna pay? I think we found Loxar. Nice hit. Oh, pray. Whatever gods you ah. have. Oh. Nice hit, Sharwin. All right. Where's all the loot? <laughs> Maybe he wants the head of this disgusting creature. Adamantine. A katana. Enchanted. Healer's kit. Oh. Uh. Is that all he had? Is that one kat enchanted kat uh, katana? Potion of bark skin. There better be more than this. A fool at the entrance would have been totally exaggerating. Uh, there's no way upstairs. Oh, maybe he got robbed himself, this Loxar. What a joke. There's not much there at all. Unless I can make a fortune off this katana, maybe he sold everything to get it. But it looks like it has a minor enchantment to me, so it's not really worth that much. Two gold. Oh, there's stairs over here. Oh, wait, no, it keeps. There are stairs here, but that's not where we need to go. Pot. Bolt of frostbite. More diseased thugs. Uh, I think we found the entrance to the uh, well to do area of the Black Lake District where the nobles live. Full wagon. <laughs> Only thing worth it is a fire agate. What's this? Somebody's house. Steal, villain! Silver ring. Fluoro spar. And that would be it. Maybe the tavern is in the uh, northern part of the Black Lake District. 
two gold. Box. Three gold. Well, this goes somewhere. Another person's home. Nobody here. Three gold, though. Looks like a lot of people did live here at one point. Did I miss something? Yeah, the green stone. All right, well, that would seem to be... Uh, let's go back to the entrance, which I don't really care to do. Let's go to the city core. The, okay, here's the barricades. So they're keeping all the peasants out. Peasants that lost their minds. Gate captain. Hello. Stop where you are, citizen. Commoners are not allowed to enter the Black Lake District. I am a member of the City Guard under Erebeth's command. <laughs> the City Guard has so many new recruits I can't even keep up. I think I heard of you, though. I have been commanded to find the Water Davian creatures. Have you heard anything about them? I just heard that they're supposed to cure the plague or some such. I think it'd be a desperate fool who'd believe that. Monsters don't cure plagues. Well, we shall see. Have you heard anything at all about the creatures? Only that there was some accident when they were brought in, and now they're fled or lost or something. We aren't supposed to panic people by talking about that, though. Don't you find it sort of strange that the accident happened as soon as the creatures made it into the city? Yeah, sure, but what does that mean to me? That all happened in the city core, long ways from here. I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's not really my business. Something else. Have you heard any rumors where the water Davian creatures might be? Sorry, no tales of monsters running about the district. Not that I've heard, anyway. Maybe you have heard of something or someone who might know more? Someone who's acting strangely? Acting strangely? Well, I suppose Meldenen would certainly qualify. Although acting strange is nothing new for him. He's a wizard, they say. Sort of an odd bird amongst the nobility. People have been saying that Meldenen's hoarding food. Some think he should share some of it with the common folk. I don't know. I wouldn't go messing with Meldenen myself. Is there something else you need, then? Let me through the gate, then. Keep your tunic on already. These guards don't seem to know anything. Well, now, this is the Black Lake proper. Maybe this is the area that I had a map to, so I swore I bought a map. It seems rather pleasant, actually, compared to the other places. Even the city core is racked by people dying. I guess this is what happens when you have a lot of money, power, and influence. Oh, I hope they don't mind me going through their barrels. Truth be told, I don't really give any care if they like it or not. I will look and do what I want. Look through and do what I want. Anthemist. Well, my map says Meldenon's Grain Warehouse. There. And he's acting strangely. <laughs> well, maybe he's been taking... Maybe he's under the influence of one of the last... The last water Davian creatures. Hodge's estate. A rum bottom estate. Never went to zoo. Okay. Millie's house. Whatever that is. Another than estate. Alright, he has a grain warehouse where I probably will not be allowed in there. Board laid bare. That's the tavern. So they were talking about this district. This part of the district. Not the previous one. What's going on here? Are they putting on a play? At night, while the city is being driven to ruin? Who are you? Who are you? One of the city guard, I suppose. What do you say? 
Don't you think Meldanin should be forced to stop his hoarding and give up his stores? It is, after all, the duty of the people to watch over their own. What say you? Who is this Meldanin? You don't know about Meldanin? Well, you must not be from around here, that's for certain. Meldanin is a vicious, evil little man. He does whatever he pleases in Black Lake because he has two things, magic and power. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. He kidnaps people for his experiments and has all sort of ma magical abomination in his estate, and all the other nobles pretend not to notice. Well, I won't, and I'm not intimidated by him. His merchant house has been hoarding food and goods for years in this district, and he should give it up, whether he likes it or not. And who are you, then? My name is Formosa Leitinen, daughter of a noble house. I may be shut in behind these walls along with the rest of the nobility, but that doesn't mean I think we don't have a responsibility to the city. There are people starving out there, and I would help them if I had food to offer, but only Meldanen has it, and having his hoard taken and given to the sick is the very least that Meldanen should suffer. Who, I who is this Meldanen? Ah. <sighs> Yes, vicious little man and all. How do you know that there's an actual horde? You talk like that's in question. Meldon has never denied that fact, and everyone in Black Lake knows that it's true. He keeps a warehouse near here, locked up so tight with spells and wards there's no hope of access without the proper key. Otherwise the city would have stormed it long ago, I'm sure. Everyone's too frightened of Meldon to do anything about it, however. So much easier to sit behind these walls and pretend there's no plague at all. Hmm. <sighs> Leave me out of it, I say. Leave you out of it? Everyone wants to be left out of it, it seems. Well, once the plague comes knocking on your doorstep, you won't want to be left out of it then. Bah, what's the point? What do you want with me then, human creature? Did you come to mock me with these others? Oh. <laughs> Because you're an elf. Alright, is that what's happening here? I'm investigating the plague and I have some questions. I'm not here to answer questions, but if it's the plague you're interested in, have you thought of investigating Meldenon? I've heard about those creatures from Waterdeep. It's entirely possible the sorcerer might have something to do with that, you know? He collects the oddest things and creates abominations. If you're interested in doing what's right, why don't you help me? You may be helping yourself at the same time. What do you say? Hmm. You've actually convinced me. Perhaps Meldon has something to do with the Water Damian Plague. Or sorry, with the Water Damian Creatures. <sighs> what exactly do you have in mind? That depends. Are you averse to performing a task that some would consider underhanded? Uh, I've never been accused of that, no. Just, uh... With the right reward, nothing bothers me. You must acquire Meldanen's key, then, and that allows access to his hoard, and Meldanen himself must be killed so no one need fear a retribution from the monster. Meldanen lives in a walled mansion in the northwest corner of Black Lake. His gate is guarded well, and there are other wards, but somehow you must gain entry. I do not expect you to do this without reward, of course. Bring me the key, and I will give you a magic necklace. For the Sorcerer's Silver Tooth, I offer you 500 gold pieces. That is all I can offer you, and it is a fair price for the service you will render. Could I persuade you to give me some coin up front? I suppose there's no harm in that, considering what I'm asking of you. Here's 100 gold pieces, all I have on me, at the moment. Good luck. Well, I guess we're off to a start. It really does look like she's putting on a performance, though. Cure light wounds. Chest is probably locked. Yep. Open that, please. Done and done. Cure light wounds. Barrel. I've probably seen quite beneath the people who live in this district. Sound burst. Scroll. Alright, so, 
accordingly. This is Meldenon's grain barrels. I shouldn't be able to open it, and I cannot, as I thought. Okay, then. We're gonna have to go kill this Meldenon. Cure critical wounds. I've never been fond of combat with mages, though. It'd be very dangerous. Lightning bolts, fireballs, magic missile. Remove disease scroll. Hey, calm down, dog. Who are you? Hello. You better step back. Only those in the company of Mr. Hodge are allowed to enter his estate. I want to ask you some questions. I'm on duty, so I really shouldn't be chatting, but it gets awful boring just standing here. Usually I'm cleaning inside. Ask your questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Who are you? I'm just a guard trying to do his duty. Well, actually, I'm not much of a guard. I was the butler, but the door guard fell to the plague. So now I'm standing here, pretending that I'm threatening. I don't even think I'm getting paid more for this. <sighs> do you know anything about the Wailing Death? I only know what everyone's been saying. We're all doomed unless Erbeth and her crew can find a cure. Nothing you haven't heard before, I bet. Was there anything else? Yes. Uh, anything interesting going on here in Black Lake? Interesting? What would I know about interesting? This is the first I've been outside in weeks. I'm usually inside, mining the dusting and whatnot. Sorry, but I can't help you there. Anything else you need? <laughs> I'm looking for work. I ain't doing any hiring myself, and I don't know anyone who is. I'm just a butler. Guard, too. I guess. Anything else you need? Why can't I enter the estate? Well, actually, I don't much care one way or the other. If you are set on entering, I'm not going to get in your way. I'm not really much of a fighter. I'm supposed to be the butler, after all. I'm only filling in because the Dorgdar died of plague. I wouldn't go in, though. It's not safe. Why isn't it safe? The guards inside are real tough. I'm not sure why Hodge didn't put them out here. Maybe he wants them as a surprise for burglars. I don't know. They attack on sight. Nothing more than killers, really. Working as a guard just lets them hurt people legally. I don't like them much. You really won't do anything if I go in. I told you I'm no guard. I don't make enough gold to get in your way. I say it ain't safe, but what you do is your business. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do as you will. I'm not paid enough to worry about this. Ten gold. Well, now I'm curious. Now I want to go in there. As long as I don't create a stir yeah. in the city. Lock it. No. Uh, uh. Anybody could just hit the, the damn door. Uh. Unlock it, please. Ah. Oh, you Dun got it. Dun. Well, this might be a fight, but we've been through a lot of... Uh, badger. Go ahead, Badger. Mm. Well, that wasn't so bad. It's a little prick. Let's try to avoid the traps if we can. Ah, everything's going to be trapped. Look at this unidentified armor. I could definitely take it. 54 gold, too. All right, so let's move some things over here. In fact, I should be opening this up. Oh, that's full. Here, mm, this one. Make some room. All these little things that I have. Uh, I hope I can take the armor. I am overburdened. Perhaps you yes. should bear some of my load. Right into the bag of holding. Now I don't feel its weight at all. Perfect. 
for being the only person who carries the items we pick up. It's locked. Couldn't be much better than this. Could use another magic bag, though. Or, a uh, bag of holding. Two-bladed swords. Not enchanted. Not worth it. There's a door over there. Hey, stop attacking it. These guards gotta be around here somewhere, if they're even here. Maybe he said that just to persuade me. Dissuade me from going in. Door. Ah, everything's trapped around here. Ouch. Those are the guards he was talking about. There's quite a lot of them. Alright then. Let's do this, Sharwin. Feel the fury! Come on, time to fight. I need help. We out of our way! so bad. Been up against much worse, and that's the first thing I thought of. We've been through a lot of fighting. Necklaces. Yes. A lot of nice things to take here. Locked. else in the room. One of them dropped an item over there. Potion of endurance. Don't need those bullets. Alright, more. Go through there. <laughs> oh, it doesn't cover the whole hallway. Sharwin. Alright. Well, see if I can't heal her wounds there. End of the hallway. There may be a lot more guards, I don't know. That could have been all of them, or it may just be the first among many rooms of them. Trade of Blades. Well, it will give me the history of the Trade of Blades. Actually. Ah. Uh, penned by Augustus Kale, founder of the notorious Trade of Blades Guild and Freehouse, this book appears to be a rather lengthy self-published rant on why the city guards of Neverwinter should not be wasting time trying to moderate the activities of mercenaries. His argument appears to be thinly veiled extortion of implying untold mayhem if the needs of these cell swords are not accommodated. Excerpt. Much has been made of the threat to our lands and homes posed by men and women of the sword, those that walk the roads with no ties to lord or lady. Many have argued that allowing these creatures to maintain quarters in Neverwinter is to invite trouble. I would say that to turn them away would bring double or triple hardship down upon the surrounding settlements. If you deny the mercenary his living, what recourse will he or she have but to turn to banditry? Would it not make sense to allow the trade of blades to welcome them, thus imparting a sense of kinship with that city? Does it need to be said that having them here for our hire is far better than turning them away and into the arms of our enemies? It is in the best interests of Neverwinter that not only is the mercenary tolerated, but welcomed. Hmm. I think he has a point. Eight gold, all these crates. Nobles. Ah! Ah, it wasn't that bad. Sometimes you don't know until a second after you've been hit. Now, who is that? 
big cat in here. Well, that was quick. Locked chest. You know, who are you? Good day. I'm waiting for an answer. What are you doing in my kitchen? Probably a bandit. I have no concern of yours. Walk away. Save your words. You'll get nothing from me. If you are looking for Master Hodge, he's already gone. You'd think the bugger knew someone was coming. He's taking his master keys with him. I couldn't help you if I wanted. Which I don't. I don't get involved in the affairs of Master Hodge. I don't need the grief. If you share a relationship with him, I don't know which of you is worse off. Now get! My muffins are burning. That's where the burning smell is coming from. Now this door looks like it has a very deadly trap on it. Ow! Ah, that really hurt. Maybe I should try to make some room. A bit better. We're gonna have to rest soon. Oh, there's more guards over there. Yeah, we should be able to do this. They're not very tough. Yeah. I tell you, if there's another trapped area, or chest, or door, I'm going to rest first. I fear it may not survive another trap. Copper necklace. Done and done. Here we are in combat, and the boar keeps on attacking the last chest we're trying or, or desk we're trying to open. Oh, you actually destroyed it. Nine gold. Trap right in the middle. Watch yourself. Not better the boar than me. This is book pile. City of Neverwinter. Have I not read this? Actually, I'd be interested in reading this. The city of skilled hands is a beautiful, relaxed place. It is a walled city of over 20,000, mainly humans and half-elves. Craftsmen love the beauty of Neverwinter and constantly try to outdo each other in striving for ever-increasing efficiency and beauty of design. Many harpers dwell in Neverwinter. Ah, harpers. As, a, as do a few skilled dwarven craftspeople of note. Many good-aligned spellcasters also make Neverwinter their home, including the many-starred Cloak, a band of wizards who support Lord Nasher's rule with their spells and some say hold the real power in the city. The Cloak also produces blast globes for the 400-strong city militia. Neverwintons. Really, that's what they call people of Neverwinter. Neverwintons. What a stupid word. Tend to be quiet, mannered, literate, efficient, and hard-working folk. Deadlines and precision are important in all that they do. They respect not only the property of others, but also whatever interests another person holds important for personal happiness. Following one's weird is a Neverwinton saying for odd or reckless behavior. Everyone native to the city understands the need to do such. All in all, Neverwinter is perhaps the most cosmopolitan city in Faerun, escaping waterdeep slums and ga grasping competitiveness, and Silvery Moon's harsher climate and heavier need for defense against orcs and other evils. Cities in Am and Kalimshans commonly claim to be more civilized, but merchants who trade there all say that Neverwinter truly is civilized, unlike some showier rival who, as the sage Melamer once put it, have achieved decadence without the need for passing through civilization first. Neverwinter is divided into several sections called districts. They are the city core, the Black Lake, the docks, the peninsula, and the beggar's nest. The city core is the focal point of commerce and houses Castle Never, the seat of government and the hall of justice, a temple of Tur, 
The Black Lake District is home to the nobility, while the Beggar's Nest is populated by many of Neverwinter's less wealthy citizens. The peninsula is constructed around a prison complex, and the Docks District is home to one of the most extensive harbors of the Sword Coast. Neverwinter's, huh? Uh, there's another chest. Better not be trapped. No, I'm fearing these things. Fair enough. Locked. I don't think there's a trap there. Thank done you. And done. City of Luskin. Maybe for another time. Ah! I'm stunned. Paralyzed and a little hurt. We're gonna need to rest if we're going to continue through this place. <clears throat> there can't be that much left to it, though. There. I don't know what's in the other room, but I do know we need to rest. Um, Sharwin. better. Ah, uh, a hallway. <sighs> Alright, well, let's look down here. Still haven't come across the bedroom of anyone. Oh yeah, there's a trap there, Sharwin. Watch out. Ah! I really wish that you can get rid of these traps. That hurt. Bedroom. Maybe we've found the place where real loot is, I don't know. Nice place. Fair enough. Locked. Chest. An arrow. An identifier. Done and done. Arrow of the vampire. Should sell alright. A green stone. Now we're basically looting this noble's home. Uh, I hope this isn't trapped. The last one was bad. Ah! Ah! The last one was a lot worse, but... <sighs> Cat's grace. Gonna have to sell to a vendor soon. Chest. Locked. Garnet. Ale. Uh, ale is not worth that much. This is a rare wine or something. Old wine. Pure cure moderate wounds potion. Okay, I swear there shouldn't be much left to this place. Whoa. Ah! Traps everywhere. As I can tell, there's only one more door of the main area. Hmm. Okay, another hallway. Oof, no traps. Gold, not too gold. Not really worth much. It's a crate here. Wand of negative energy. What is that? 
My flesh crawls as my fingers close around the gruesome fetishes that dangle from this wand. The elven femur that forms its shaft is yellow and worn smooth by the oils of countless hands. Well, it's gotta be worth something to somebody. Crate. Four gold. Spirits. Arrow. And a barrel here. Glittering necklace. My inventory is almost full. Well, except for my um, bag of holding. More guards. Six of them. And I don't have a pet. Go get him. Feel the fury! <laughs> Come on, Sherwin. Sherwin. You shall be fight. Still coming. Now is the time to fight, Sharwin. I know you can fight. There we go. Well, already I'm low on heals. What's going on in here? drink their alcohol, do they? A door here. Two more doors. Arr. Ah, two more doors. Place just keeps going on and on. Fair enough. Talk about a rich person's home. Locked, locked, locked. Done and done. Green stone. Armoire here. Healer's kit. Uh, I'm gonna use this on you. Six gold, fourteen gold. Let's leave. <laughs> ah, paralyzed too. We're going to need to rest soon. Can't move. There we go. Another door. I say we rest. Again. Better. 
All right. Locked. Seven gold. Chest. Locked. Thank done you. Done and done. Fifty-four gold and fire at gate. Fifty-four. Not bad. Locked. Everything's locked and trapped. One more door, I hope. Done and done. Cure critical wounds. Ah! Ah, oh, it's trapped. I wonder if I couldn't. Alright. Come here, stupid boar. Come on. There we go. Ooh, it's some kind of sound sonic trap. Little library. Ah! Bloody traps. It's locked. Unlock it. Another chest over there. Ah, club. Gilded urn. Who wants that? Note from Hodge. No, that's Oleaf. Note from Hodge. This note from Hodge is intended for Ophala Cheldurstorn and consists of an almost steady stream of profanities and curses. Apparently they have been exchanging such sentiments for a great deal of time, and he is none too pleased with having had to flee his refuge yet again. Standard fare for vanquished foes. Oh, did he lose a duel or a bet and had to leave? Yet again? Interesting. Ah, there's a trap here that I can see. Yeah. It's locked. Fair enough. Doubt. Adventuring. All right, well, I'm carrying quite a lot now. What is this gilded urn? This urn makes a rather cheap attempt at appearing stately and may have once held the ashes of a respected but poor merchant of noble of or minor noble. More recently it has held delicious smelling after dinner mints. <laughs> it bears a dent that could have come from gripping it at the lip and delivering a swinging blow to the back of someone's skull, likely leaving his or her head in much the same condition as the urn. Strangely, best wishes or fella, Cheldorstorn has been scratched into the base of it. Well, I don't know if it's worth anything. Not at all. But I do know that we're done here, and I would like to leave. So. Ah, this one's trapped too. Forgot we came in through the other door. Was it worth it? Well, with all the loot we picked out of here, I would guess so, but it was very painful to get all that. All those bloody traps and no one to pick the, to uh, remove the traps. I actually can't wait to get out of here. This place just reminds me of pain now. And not the good kind. Ah! Another trap! No more traps. Whew. Well, they were going to attack me, these guards. 
they look like hired mercenaries. Probably by the nobles who live here. I thought I'd already checked that box. All right then. Let's uh, keep searching and maybe we'll get to Meldon's house estate. But I would like to go to the zoo first. But before that, we should probably go and sell all our the excess loot that I've picked up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.